Hello, welcome to Enshrouded, a survival RPG game where an elixir destroyed the humanity. Here we are at the beginning of the adventure. Our hero is sitting in the menu, waiting I stop the intro. The world would be cruel and cold, but his long blonde hair and his beautiful body will help him in the adventure waiting ahead. Everything mm -hmm. starts with a creep as dude bringing an elixir to Embervale. This elixir has powers, once concealed by the ancient, but the dude has some. As always, humanity jump on this, fight the ancient, and dig the elixir well to get more. They dig too deep, and a cheap ass smoke, the shroud they say, emerge. This fog spread everywhere and devour everything. Facing this shit, ancient and human united and create the Flameborn. There it is. Our hero, Mooch. The cold run up and up, letting him born him. Flameborn in this shrouded world. Look at him. What a nice man. What a nice mustache. The adventures begin in the cinder vault. A flame is calling us. I don't know why, but Much cannot resist the urge to talk with it. The flame instructs him to make fire and build a shelter somewhere, protect him from the darkness of this world. As a caveman, Much begins to use his fist to harvest and break stuff. Our first bit of fresh air in this new unexplored world. We now have to find a place to build our shelter, but first, let's take Rapid a look at the view. Beautiful. It yes, Mooch, it is beautiful, but not as much as seeing you feasting your first tree. <laughs> Experimenting the crafting system gave us a flame altar and some tools. We also find our first chest, giving us a torch to continue our exploration. We continue exploring a cave and we find some grenades. Those grenades were well used to destroy some fallen debris on the path. The hole opened up the way to a rare chest, giving us a nice hatchet. Deeper in this cave, we encounter our first enemy in the shroud. Hmm. Soon enough, more enemy emerge from the ground, and our hero has to take care of them. We finally manage to exit the cavern and find our first beacon. We found a place to put our flame altar. Much commune with the flame, and she tells him he's not alone in this world. More survivors can be found in Embervale. Again, here's a quick look at the view. Whoa. Running through the forest, we found the wolf and killed him for his meat. While we harvested some twigs, we happened to find a ruin. In this fog war enemy, but nothing can stop our hero. Much take advantage of the enemy and kills him. Another one has been found and much rushed in the fight. Easy. We found a cave and this place was infected with shrouds and darkness. Nothing is too hard for him, managing to clean the place and leveling up to Ouch. level 2. We managed to make it back home, and we place our workbench to start the construction of the blades. And now I can make a rough blo wood block. 
and with those rough wood blocks we are about to make All our right. first base. Starting with a 3x3, tree tree, a couple of walls ladder, and here we go. A nice cubic home. A bit we placed a nice way. little fireplace and, and decided to cook some meat. So let's cook. Back in our exploration, we found the long key. We began to explore the place and we discover a well. Hmm. We scoop some water from it and drink it to make our stamina regenerate faster. Somewhere in the corner of the keep, we found an enemy with a goat. The poor goat got killed in the fight, but her meat will be well used. There was also a rat. A rat? Yes, yes, a rat. The cloth we gather in the long keep allows us to craft some basic shitty armor. And with this new armor and weapon, we decided to continue farming a bit. Testing our new bow. Missing all our shots. Or a rabbit. We managed to get in and right after the wolf spot us and we have to fight again for our life. Our inventory is full. We have to find a way to store our loot. So our hero goes straight back to his home and had some chests to his furniture, organize his stuff before he jumps. Back I'm in the shrug. action. The adventure brings us near a cliff filled with fog and... It what the hell is doing? I just died. No shit, you just died. Now you have to go back retrieve your stuff. Why are you going this way? Your stuff is on the cliff. And... He broke his leg. I did not have to go here, fuck, well no, but at least you learn, if you die, the stuff stay on the ledge of the cliff. This time the brain is involved, and we dig a safer hole to get back our stuff. After all this shenanigan, our zero, <coughs> the hero, continue his adventure, following the quest asking him to travel through the shroud. An enemy was encountered during our walk through the dangerous fog, we killed him. And our walk brought us to the other side of the shroud, a wolf is eating a dead body ahead, which decided to attack him with his bow successfully killed the wolf and made it to Brookmaw. Brookmaw is under the control of bandits, right away our hero got attacked by them. The bow and arrow seems ineffective against those armor. We can see the aggressive nature of those enemy chasing our hero, which decided to switch his weapon for a magic wand, and it was the right weapon to kill those shady bastards. I've done. More of them were found in Rockmore, patrolling around the camp. We make sure to eliminate all of them. Ain't that? Exploring the camp, we found rats and a fire wand. In the darkness of the night, we found more bandits hiding inside another building. We resist! Using our fire wand, we discovered bandit is resistant to fire, making our new wand useless in front of the enemy. The ice wand in the other side was making a good job hitting them. We make sure to eliminate everyone around the camp and continue our exploration. The 
the sun finally appear in the sky and Mudge decided to attack some explosive barrel. I'm stupid. Yes, you are. Now you have to go get back your stuff again. Why I've done that? I don't know. Maybe the blonde hair or the casual stupidity. Otherwise, we managed to get back our stuff and get back on track. Exploring the last bit of the camp roof more, we killed the last bandit and made sure we looked it ready. Okay. We found a new bow and our hero right. tested right away. Effective, but it came with a near-death experience. After a quick refresh, we decided to go through the shroud. Okay, I think I have loot everything. Let's see where the shroud brings us. Thinking the objective of the quest is maybe this way, our hero finally realized he was on the wrong path. We went off trail to go to the objective. Unfortunately, we managed to get chased by some enemy. Hey, shit. Much tries to fight back. But the enemy managed to hit him. I'm good. And he dies again. Before he get back to his stuff, he decided to gather a bit of wood in the shroud. After this quick harvest, we killed the enemy around. And went to get back our stuff. We confirmed where the objective is before we went to it. We finally arrived to the objective, the engine vault. This time our hero decided to try a sneaky approach. He detected two enemy. Let's try to take them down quietly. We succeed in eliminating the first one without the other notice. Let's see if we can do a sneak attack on the other one. What a fail. We get our ass kicked in a second, which try to distance the enemy. Get his wall and fight back, managing to survive. Next we enter the ancient vault to awake the survivor sleeping in the cold run. But before that, the last bandit in this place wants a fight. We awake the blacksmith dude and now we have to summon him. But much wanted to place another flame altar to use the flame for teleportation. Back to our cubic home, we craft the summoning staff, glider, and grappling hook. We use the staff and summon Oswald the blacksmith into our home. The blacksmith help us craft a new fur armor, a new sword, and a charcoal kiln to help us in the next adventure. Much place the kiln outside and make sure some charcoal were made. He also had some storage in the base before planning his next adventure. Our next quest will be to clear the elixir well and end passion to see what it looks like. Here is a quick view of our hero inventory. I think he's ready for the next one. And yeah, 
pretty much it for today thank you guys for watching if you like the video you can leave a like to let me know subscribe for more and turn on the notification bell to make sure you miss nothing see you in the next one bye